our special guest, celebrity DJ, DJ Blackout oh, in the building. You a celebrity. I'm a celebrity. He oh, famous, yeah. celebrity. My checks aren't celebrity, though. I wish they were. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Can I introduce my bro real quick? Uh-oh. Yeah. All right, Talk so hold on, Cola. We got Cola's calling in already. We got some ratchet ass nigga from the Bronx, Cola. <laughs> Shout out to him. I forgot. I like ratchet. He I like ratchet. He said he was off the people. gas and he ready for BAP. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what, like, BAP is a different, different type of party. <laughs> but we going to get there. So this is my bro, Blackout, you know what I'm saying? What's up, Karan. Oh, you DJ Astronaut. <laughs> you know, you Let know somebody you. when they call you government. That's, like, nah, I don't know Black, I know Koran. They be calling me <laughs> Joe mad randomly. I be like, yo. Government here, feds is here, like what's up? Right. But let me let me tell you how I met Blackout. Cause, oh, cause I don't remember. <laughs> so I used to go to Hunter College. Shout out to Hunter College. Shout out to Hunter. That was my team right there, the squad. Effects. Um, Thomas Hunter was the building of all buildings. That's where all that the clubs all were. That stuff was at. Feel me? That's where all the liquor was at. <laughs> nah, that was the only puny school that was allowed to have liquor on okay. their campus. Yeah. Mm. Hold on, we got a cola. <laughs> we forgot. We oh, forgot all right. All the all right, cola, oh, cola, cola, go ahead. Let's get this cola. What's up, cola? What's your name and where you calling from? Hello. Yo. Hello. Yeah. yeah. Hello. What's up? What's good, bro? Okay. What's good, bye? Oh, tell him. Tell him. It's lit. It's lit. Now that brunch is going to be crazy. That's a fact. Do the right thing. Thank you for the drop. Do the right thing. Work for a brunch. That's how it's lit. Yeah. I don't know nobody that's gonna do that, but he's doing it. That's so bad. Nah, um, nah, real shit, bro. I appreciate you, bro. You a good dude, bro. You Thank you, bro. Thank you, bro. So, whatever lessons come your way, bro, God bless you, Toby. All more power to you, bro. All praise. You already know. That's so sweet. That's a fact. That's real nigga shit right there. Toby, I got praise for you, too. It's your fun ass. We gonna go. Okay. Shoot the shot. Shoot the shot. Only yeah. on the team. Thank you, Paula. Jordan with the shot. Okay. Uh, Steph Curry just I appreciate you. <laughs> <laughs> you can try to alley the dumb. Okay. DM me a pick. DM me a pick. Oh, she said DM her a pick. I'm gonna pick for your podcast. Let me pull it in the show on the laptop. So keep your keep your tongue in your mouth and talk, bro. I'm done. <laughs> Let me rock out with my cock out, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, bro. I'll see you Saturday. Later. You already know. I'm gonna see you Saturday. Alright, so let me <laughs> <laughs> I used to go there, whatever, and they had parties, but I've never been to a party at this point in time. So I'm walking, I'm like, I'm about to go check some shit out. I see this dude with the damn push cart. Chill, chill. <laughs> hold on, hold on. First of all, I had the Mercedes Benz old shopping cart. Yo, <laughs> this <laughs> man the has a push cart. Old shopping cart. Okay. What's in a push cart? It was a with cart. all his equipment in it. Roll into the damn. He was That's like, dedication. "Yo, we got a party going on in the cab or whatever." I'm like, "Are you telling me about a party going on <laughs> in my goddamn school?" He's like, "Yo, pull up though, pull up though." I'm like, "All right." So I went. I got all my sisters, and I pulled up to the party, and that shit was lit. Like, and when I tell you, it wasn't even lit on the level that he's lit now. Like, if at this point I can say that that was okay compared to the DJ he is right now, mm -hmm. that was okay. But I did not know. That this man was gonna be stuck in my motherfucking life. <laughs> Cause after that, I just kept seeing him. He just kept getting bigger and bigger. And I wanted to book him, not for nothing. But I never had this man's budget. I, never, <laughs> I could not afford him. And I would never disrespect him. He talked about his checks and all that. Yeah. Like, come on. He can lie if he wants. You know what I'm right. saying? He can be humble. Checks are not hitting. You know what I'm saying? He can be humble. I'm not gonna be humble for him. I'm not gonna be humble for him. I'm not gonna be humble for him. <laughs> this man is everywhere, doing everything. He has residencies everywhere. Ooh. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, so who's some of the artists you DJ for so far? Uh-huh. Get into it. Uh, Get into Cardi it. Cardi B, uh -huh. Wale, Fabulous. Uh-huh. Um, that's a few. I'm not gonna say everybody. <laughs> I'm not gonna say everybody. He got a couple residencies. You can tell us where that's at. Oh, Katcha every Thursday. Um, I do a brunch every month at Amarachi Lounge. Um, yeah, that's about it. Those are the only two really residencies right now. Mm -hmm. Oh, and Kicks USA, I'm like the DJ ambassador for them. 
Facts. Okay, so where did this DJ inspiration come from? Like, what got you into DJ? Um, when I was in high school, I was just around a couple of my friends that was DJing. I was mm -hmm. bored, so they were always DJing. I found it interesting. Tried it one day, I was like, oh, this is all right, this is cool. <laughs> so I just kept it as a hobby, and then I just kept sticking with it, and then it turned into this. So what did you do first? Like, were you, did you do the laptop first? Did you do the... I started, I started on the laptop, but then I went back and learned how to DJ on vinyl and everything like that. So, Ooh. so like, are you into the scratching? Like, yeah. are you one mm -hmm. of those? The whole crap, the whole art form. Yeah, I was going to say, you know, a lot of people are DJs, but they're not into like that. Nah, they just, they they're just not DJ buttons. DJs. Yeah. They're not right. DJ DJs, right? Facts. Right. They just push buttons and try to collect a check that they don't get at the end of the day. Shots fired. So, back to <laughs> So, being, with that being said, what do you feel like sets you apart from other DJs? Right. Um, my versatility, my energy. Um, I connect with people on a different level for some reason. I don't know why. Because you ratchet? Like, uh-huh. Right, that's a full right. fact. I'm uh -huh. 100 ratchet. <laughs> um, yeah, that's really it. And then I'm just I'm just a good vibe. I don't know. That's a fact. Well, I'll tell you why. Because <laughs> like, this like, nigga... I'm going to do this for you. Me too, God <laughs> You're not going to come to my podcast being so fucking humble. Fuck out <laughs> Today, this ain't my interview. We're gonna talk about you today. I feel like the difference between him and other DJs is that he taps into what the fuck he's playing, like, and what the environment calls for. Because right. he also DJs with more bookings, he does showcases and concerts and stuff like that. So he knows how to go with the crowd, like he said, and with the vibe. He's American, bro, and he be having this. Be Turn up! <laughs> People, people cannot American, guess. Yeah. They automatically claim me as West Indian. So you That's a fact. You you to to like like a so good God. God. <laughs> <laughs> He's you a so good God. Like, you do you talk hella shit on the mic when you're DJing? I do. You want to know? I do. <laughs> but it's a per you got to have a balance because it's a point where you could talk too much and then people just like, my yeah. nigga. Yeah. But I hate a quiet DJ Sometimes you need to No, but sometimes you got to let the music talk too much. I'm fired. Sometimes you gotta let the music talk because, like, you can tell who can really DJ and know the know their craft and know their music and select right. certain songs that you don't have to talk on the mic for that. So right. It's just mm -hmm. a different. Some people that's their niche and that's their lane. That's what they do. I could do both. So. What are some of your go-to songs that you know is gonna get the grab out there? Um, for this '90s party that's coming up on Saturday, <laughs> nigga to my bro Mastermind, I play like theme songs from old cartoon shows like Proud Family. And ah. all that. Yeah, he the first that. person I know to do that. And when I tell <laughs> you, he set a trend. Like they be like, y'all. Like, hey, don't stop stealing. Don't stop. Stealing. They already did. Long time. Long, Cause he been doing that long time. They stealing. He's that long time. They stealing. Yo, cause Proud Everybody Family. Everybody have creative rights. You feel me? They can do what they want. <laughs> Man, like when you play like those unexpected type of yeah, it gets a different reaction. It was like, yo, it makes you turn around. Yeah, you don't even know why he would play that, but it goes like, wow, <laughs> like how do you even do that? So, stuff like that. As far as reggae and so is concerned, um, anything really, because you just gotta get the crowd hype. Mm -hmm. Really, per se, and people don't expect that I'm American, so they were like, oh yeah, you, you Trinidadian, you know, or you African, or you Jamaican, or Haitian, one of those, and they were like, I'm like, no. I'm black. <laughs> I'm American, sorry. Have you ever worked with an artist and they wanted you to play like only specific songs, but you being the creative type of person that you are, or you knowing certain, your crowd, like you said, mm -hmm. you kind of go off the rail and do your own At thing the club? sometimes. Well, or even working with like them. the celebrity artists that you work with, mm -hmm. or just in general, yeah. Like, um, for like shows with them, it's more so what they're, what they want to do as far as creating the, the atmosphere for their concert or whether it's a show, like a quick performance for them, mm -hmm. it's just dedicated to what they want to do. So it's like, if there's a club appearance and they just so happen to pop up or Safari or somebody pops up, you be like, I, I already know they're in the building, so let me go around that if I'm allowed to play that because certain promoters won't allow you to play that mm -hmm. because you're not at a certain level or you're not a radio DJ <laughs> or you're not a certain select DJ that's supposed to play for their specific slot. Wow. Uh, so it's a whole so business. So what's the politics It's that? a whole politics and the whole business behind the DJ thing. So that's why I wanted to create something called the DJ Clinic along with my brother DJ Bam Bam. Mm -hmm. So other DJs can learn about the business because there's no one to teach you it. You have to right. just learn, go in and trial and error. So we're just trying to create that 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 platform for everybody. So, so they can be able to Yeah, about talk about some yeah. elements that you bring. Um for the DJ clinic, it's more so a panel. It started out as a panel for Day Summit. We did that two years in a row. So we had true blends. 
uh, who is a celebrity DJ as well. He does a lot of. A lot I'm glad of, you said as well. Uh, Got uh, him. <laughs> <laughs> he does a lot of good stuff in the city. Um, he's the one who wanted me to go into the city because I was doing more so private and corporate events. That's but he was like, me. That's no, no, no. That, that's he was at your H and M's. He was at your <laughs> okay. Uniqlo's. Yeah, why well, can we just get the team? <laughs> <laughs> he run like if the people know who he's playing. He's playing. He's playing. He's playing. He's playing. You get your resume. <laughs> doing this. Little resume real long. We can go. We got time. We got time. I just started, bro. Go in. Um, <laughs> what was one of the favorite your uh, favorite establishments then to work in? I would have to say Pix USA because the culture is just different. It's mm. more so sneakerheads, uh, sneaker heads, urban, real exquisite, real collective, collectibles type things. And then the the employees that they party, they party while while they working. So they dancing with the customers and stuff. It's just a, a cool, dope vibe. And I like the, I like the headquarters too. But you too. play, like, just... Everything. You play everything. So I want to... I want to know, like, real quick, because we got some, we got another DJ and engineer in the house or whatever. What are your five pet peeves? People coming to ask me to charge their phone. <laughs> <laughs> that's Guilty! One, that's one. Uh, two. Hold my bags. Hold my phone. That's a fact. <laughs> that's what I told the DJ booth, knowing damn well. It's Ain't like no room. Two feet. Two Ain't feet no two damn room. In the mixer, and they be like, Nah, let me just throw up. Yo, black eye note. Come on, son. I'm not trying to go and check hope for three dollars. <laughs> no, bro. I don't got no change. Oh, yeah. I don't got no singles. <laughs> that's one. Two. Um, other DJs trying to play your time slot. Depending on what time you go on, mm. but that that doesn't bother me really. Three, um, be on time, be punctual as far as DJing in clubs, because some DJs just think that it's shit or they're too cocky, or too confident, mm. so they'll come at whatever time they want to come. Mm. And then you also have to adjust the time for them because they running late. Oh, the promoter asks you to stay, but you're not gonna get paid that extra because you stayed because mm. you're trying to hold them down. This that again goes into politics with the, mm -hmm. with DJing. Four, um, I don't know, what could be four? People make requests. Right. <laughs> I mean, I, nah, I just, I just know people who try to make requests because they can't, <laughs> one, they can't get to me, two, they try, I'm just gonna ignore you in front of the face. Right. They're gonna be tight. But you got security around you, I'm Nah, I mean, sometimes I do, but. Oh, <laughs> those, are, those are those family right there, but. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I can, that's it, really. Is there? I'm good. I really care. I really don't. I'm really nonchalant about a lot of things in my life. So I know. So <laughs> with 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 certain sets, like, do you plan all your sets? Do you mix in the crib, like, on some juice? You know what I'm saying? Uh, okay, was in the crib. Right? I mean, I practice here and there. Lately, I haven't been practicing in a while. I used to do a lot of streams, a lot of streaming, like live, so I could practice live. So you can hear me, and that's how I gained my following, my base, as far as me just playing. Because most of the time, we would be bored because we was in college students. And mm -hmm. we was like, all right, we're going to listen to Black Eyed. Why not? We ain't doing nothing else. Might as well party right. in my house. So that's how I gained my following, my loyal fan base. Um, and that's where I made my mistakes, what I liked, what I didn't like, what people like to hear. Um, I used to do, this is my little trick as far as like being versatile. I would do five-minute sets and do six different genres. <laughs> two songs each time, and I have to do all of that within five minutes. So with all the mixing and stuff that you do, did you ever think to merge into? I don't know if you're doing it, but being like a producer, like you know, um, on A and R. Yeah. As far as A and R, <laughs> I'm working to be an A and R. Come on, man, or, or an A and R. Not gonna talk about it like yeah. that. We just did. <laughs> where you work, black guy? Can't say where I work. <laughs> I'm done. It's, it's definitely somewhere dope. He got somewhere tears. Dope it's, it's a plug. So <laughs> he lucky I ain't gonna say it. <laughs> but he I plugged up. It, He's I can say it. <laughs> if you want to, I ain't saying it. Say it. The man worked for Universal. <laughs> uh, the man he on, worked for bro. Universal. Okay. He's that's the corporate things. <laughs> <laughs> This man is being way too humble. Oh, <laughs> I'm about to pop one. <laughs> like, so, Ali, how did you get in with that then? Like, um, you just... that was really God. I can't really say mm. how, but like, talk about your hustle, then. Like, right. talk about your hustle. No, I can when... talk about. I can talk about how I got it. I applied. Okay. I applied. <laughs> <laughs> and that was really it. Like, 
it was like I was I, I had a job at Uniqlo before that, and I was DJing, and I'd call out of work just to go DJ. Mm-hmm. I would come late. I'm always late for work. <laughs> like if you follow me, you know that I'm always late for work <laughs> every day, like every day. Guys. Like for DJ, and I'm early, but for work, work, nah, <laughs> it's not happening. Cause you're not passionate about it. I get it. I mean, I'm passionate about it because I, I work in IT as well, so I do both. So okay. that's why I got my, my degree in, and I was the first in front of my <laughs> family. Money, to get money. My de- <laughs> money, money. What are you talking about? Uh, no, IT. I told I told you I still push around a shopping cart. You <laughs> I'm broke, broke. <laughs> but yeah, so um, left my job at Universe uh, Universe at uh, Uniqlo. And then I was without a job for a year and a half. So mm-hmm. I had to make money. So I was like, I'm still DJ, continue doing that. My passion was super broke, was not getting no type of gigs, no type of anything like that. But that's my passion. So I kept pushing and going forward with it. Um, one day I was like, let me just look up some entertainment jobs. Maybe I could get in as a DJ somewhere right. or like a low key intern. I could work my way up. Mm-hmm. I applied. Two hours later, the, the HR admin called me. He was like, hey, so uh, when can you come for an interview? I was like, shit, shit today. So, so what, what was your resume looking like? Yeah, what was your resume looking like for them? For you to feel like you know they called you like that because your resume has to be looking like something. Um, <laughs> like I said, it was God. I really don't know because my resume was trash. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> was really Somebody trash. probably knew you not for nothing. Yeah, Somebody probably knew you not for nothing. Been. Like so I, I really don't know. I still ask that question to this day. Like I don't know how I got into this building because everybody that's in that building mm-hmm. either knew somebody, worked in the industry already, their family was in the industry already, so they just get pulled into it, okay. or they start as an intern. They know somebody very high up in the industry. Mm-hmm. So I'm just really a regular degular schmegular person. <laughs> All right. Oh. Got so what was that position that you applied for? It. Okay. Oh, so okay. now I'm trying to transition into being A and R and everything like that. Oh. But I, I have DJ for Def Jam and Republic and things like that. As far as the labels. So once you get into the A and R, you know, situation. I was a rat. Are you gonna still be DJing as much? Of course. Okay. Of course, that will merge the two perfectly because then I get to scout talent and then DJ at the same time too. Mm-hmm. So it merges both of the worlds together. Yeah. And this shows the position of the DJ because people don't understand like the DJ, DJ like has A&R. to play your music. They're A and R's already. Yeah, that's true. So if you don't get close to the DJ, like you're playing yourself. That's true. Honestly, they have the radio station. They have the shows. They have the concerts. But so the DJ's gotta make it pop in the club. That's a fact. Have you ever had a crowd that was just like, no matter what you. you play, right? Like nah, they it just happened. Drive. It happened recently. <laughs> <laughs> it happened recently. What do you feel like is usually the the problem? Like, you know, besides the tension maybe that's already there, like, mm. you know, how do you usually go about um, trying to even break that tension? You try by trying out different uh, selections of songs, uh-huh. um, talking on the mic, trying to get at least one person to dance. Mm-hmm. But once you get one person to dance, you're going to get everybody yeah. else to dance. Yeah. It only takes one to, to join the crowd, yeah. so. Mm-hmm. But they was not with it at all. <laughs> <laughs> it, it happens sometimes. You have a good day, you have a bad day. You're not going to have all popping days all the time. And that's what I want DJs to know about, too, because not everything you do is going to be super, super, super lit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's not. I was DJing in clubs with, like, five people in but you still gotta play, yeah. Like it's right. a thousand people, yeah. Each time because you never know that could be a new fan for you, mm-hmm. and you never know what they have and what they can bring you to in the future. Does that normally happen more so? You find that happening more with like your bougier crowd or like your, you know, the hood crowd. Um, hood crowd don't like to really dance. They just like to bottle pop and just stand there. Yeah, and, and they go like they each other, try to be cute and just two step. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they only really dance with women. Either they just play chill with <laughs> That's a full fact. Hey. <laughs> That's a full fact. The bougie crowd, they like to just pop bottles too, but they, they dance a little more, but they dance with them clicks. So they dance with their own people and their own squad. So talk about Blacklisted and um, what's it, By Far? By Far. Yeah. So By Far, I'm part of a team called By Far Army. Uh, it's a collective of DJs. Also, Blacklist is a collective of DJs as well that I'm the CEO of, and I help put other DJs on with events, curating events, um, doing a DJ clinic with them as far as that concerned, and just help giving other people opportunities as well uh, as far as where I got in life. So, how did you get into By Far? Like, did you feel like you needed that at that time? Um, it was more so tapping into more of the the reggae soca world for me mm. as far as 
bigger stadiums and different events of the of the larger stature because I could do the small events, but it was time for me to elevate and to get into the bigger ones, so like the Miami Carnivals and the Crop Overs and the Spice Mass and things like that, like the bigger stages. So mm -hmm. that's where. Do you rather the Soca crowd or the American crowd? I rather the Soca crowd. <laughs> oh, really? Like wow. Because it's be it's a better vibe. It's a mm -hmm. different. It's a completely different vibe from American mm -hmm. crowd. But the American crowd be like, yo, all right, so what time I get on? What time I get off? <laughs> all right, cool. You heard it here first. Cool. But what you call it? Walking up their waist? Because they be walking up their waist. <laughs> they be dubbing. You Haitian don't have like your own. I don't know how to say walking up their waist. That's mad trending. Oh, you know it's mad good. I know, say shaking that ass. <laughs> I'm ratchet. I'm so ratchet. So what keeps you motivated though? Like what keeps you motivated? Seeing other DJs um, keep pushing themselves. Mm -hmm. um, even DJs that's under me or of the same level as me doing different events and seeing what they can accomplish because you never know. Because one week <coughs> I was DJing a showcase, next thing my boy hit me, he was like, yo bro, can you just hit me up with with a speaker real quick? I gotta go do this concert real quick. I was like, all right, cool. Get there, it's like 20,000. I'm like, what you need a speaker for, bro? 20,000 people? He was like, nah, I just want you to come. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, so you just trying to show up. <laughs> That's tough. So how, how important do you feel like networking is for DJs? That is the key thing wherever you go as far as DJing because you never know who you're going to meet. Mm. You never know how somebody can help you. And that's the number one rule, networking. Because sometimes you can't do an event and you need another DJ to cover you. And yeah. if you don't know no other DJs, you're just not going to get that booking. So how do you how do you break that ice? Like I feel like that's a problem with a lot of people. Like they want to say something to somebody, yeah. but they don't necessarily know how to know start how that to conversation. Yeah. Um, you just gotta be friendly. You gotta be personal. Some people aren't personal. Some people don't think I'm shy, but I'm really, really, really shy. But I try to break out of that habit. You gotta be personal. You gotta be able to network. If this is what you want to do, it's entertainment. That's you came to entertain people. So if you can't have a conversation for one one person, then how are you gonna do that for thousands that's of people? Right. That's a fact. That's a So. All right, you know, within the hip hop industry, mm -hmm. we know what the gimmicks are in order to get to where fakes. they are. Right. So fakes. with DJs, I don't know what I can say the gimmicks are, but I'm sure there are gimmicks for oh, this is a lot of gimmicks. DJs. Yeah. 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 Mixes, but not even. Yeah, they they're not even. Playing pre-recorded sets. Oh, so that's what. What's that? Give us a thing. I need to know what's going on for real. Like playing pre-recorded sets. You be hearing other people drops within their music. Oh wow. We do, they don't be pressing no buttons. They just be sitting there like, all right, cool. Let me just sit here and chill. All right. Oh, they'll have their friend with them and have their friend play for them. It's all. Oh. It's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. And maybe sometimes DJs that be getting paid more than you. You be like, yo, yeah. how you book this person? Popularity. And it's more, it's more so on the promoter side as well. Because mm. a lot of promoters don't want to pay DJs what they actually worth. Mm. They just want to get a quick buck out of them. Mm -hmm. So then that's where all the events coming from, where it's like some events be whack, some events be all right, and then the popping popping ones, that's when the people that actually care about the event, and they mm -hmm. want to curate good things and good vibes for the consumers that's there. So it's like you have those people that want to do good, but they just like, all right, let me get this bag real quick. I'm going to book such and such from Power 105, Hot 97. Mm -hmm. I know people are going to come out regardless. It don't matter. I'm going to get the scammers, the bottle pop real quick. Girls going to come because of the bottles. All right, cool, lit. We got a good night. <laughs> and that's it. And I, I seen that a lot. Like a lot. <laughs> a lot. A lot. Especially with celebrity events and stuff like that. It'd be just... It'd be bad. And then, um, <laughs> radio stations or anything like that that you see yourself maybe being set with? Like, a, you know, um, I would definitely do that. Power 105. Why? Yes. Power 105. I like them. They're dope. They allow more creativity as far as mm -hmm. um, DJ control and everything like that. Mm -hmm. So, how do you determine your worth? Because I know a lot of DJs, like, even people ask me, like, hey, Silva, I need to know how do I, you know, tell Increase. people, set my price. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, how much yeah. do I charge? Um, when you start out, you won't know. Really, because sometimes you may think you're better than you are, and then somebody mm -hmm. will humbly put you in your place. <coughs> Thank God I don't got no yes men around me and tell me when I'm whack. <laughs> so, um, start out with a price that you think is comfortable for you, and um, I say go from there because each year I go a uh, price or like every six months, or when I complete a little milestone that I got, I it's time for me to increase my price now because I did such and such things. So, then when you go to a promoter or a things love or a event coordinator to set a price. 
they were like, all right, so what did you do? Because they're going to ask you, right. why am I booking you for this price? Well, I went out to get X, Y, and Z for such and such price. So then you got to pitch yourself. All right, I did such and such. I DJ for this person. You can go ask them how I play. I bring people to your party, things like that. Third. So it's different variables. So like, yes, so for a corporate events and things like that, um, that's different because they, they just have loads and loads of money. Right. <laughs> have you ever been humbled? I've been humbled plenty of times. Plenty of times when I was at your college, I really thought I was popping, popping because I knew everybody <laughs> in the school and everybody knew me. And then my friend Jamal, he was like, nah, you trash, bro. Like, you trash. Like, you're, you're a warm-up DJ, bro. Calm it down. What was your first experience like DJing in front of like a big crowd? Um, I was nervous because I didn't know what to play because I never recorded any of my sets. That was the big, the first one. It was at your college during uh, what well, we have like a community hour. Mm -hmm. So it's like, well, it was club hours for every two, Tuesday from like 12 to two. And then like they put us on, cause I was part of a radio station there too. And then they put us on to go play me and my um, boy DJ Obi-Wan. And we played during the, those times. And that's when all of the clubs were out there trying to promote and get people to come in. I was scared shitless. <laughs> like, I was like, oh. Okay, it's mad people here. <laughs> I was like, I don't know what I'm gonna do, I don't know what I'm gonna play, but I'm gonna just try it. So how you got mm -hmm. to your rhythm? Um, I just felt the vibe from everybody. It's like, you can tell the difference between a whack party or somebody giving you good vibes and good mm -hmm. energy as far as like trying to play different songs and things like that. It's just the connection between you and the people in the music. What do you feel like is your signature as a DJ? Soka. <laughs> that and the theme Soka. songs, I would say. Yeah. Soka and I, I would say being ratchet as well. Because That's being ratchet is what got me a lot of places as far as branding with females and things like that. Mm -hmm. Because I'm really out there as far as like connecting with people and making people laugh and things like that. Mm -hmm. So I'll be hella ratchet and they'll be like, oh my god, you so ratchet. I'm like, I know, bro. <laughs> I know. I'm and then like, sad. I made a. Uh, there was a good promo. Um, shout out to my boy Complex. He was like, "Yo, son, you should do some booty shorts. Like, just, yo! Uh, just, yo, you should do some booty. Like, we just having random conversations." Yo, I was like, "That ain't like, like gonna buy no." No, make they sold them. Nah, we oh, y'all wore like y'all sold booty shorts. Yeah, yeah. booty shorts. And I was That's like, sweet. "Nah, ain't nobody gonna wear them." I was like, "Let me try see what, what? happens." What? Well, I made she one pair. Like, I made one pair. It, it was like, what was it? Breast over ass, ass over. No, breast? that was that was another thing that we. Oh. We still want to do, but uh, it was called uh, Team Blackout uh, Ratchet Ones or something like that. <laughs> like Ratchet Ones like that. But females definitely was like, y'all want one. I want one. I want one. I was like, oh, I didn't know it was going to be this crazy. Um, and then I was like, so y'all trying to take pictures in them? They were like, yeah. I was like, oh, it's like that. Okay. And they were definitely posting. They were like, oh, can I? These is mad. Come on, I want another pair. This, that, and the third. I was like, oh, this is. This is really <laughs> so it's for really those amazing. who don't know, it is his birthday today. Woo, 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 woo. <laughs> so what is about to say? Like, you know I'm what going to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> That's not how we work hard. <laughs> I mean, like, are you going to DJ your own parties? Oh, I always, always DJ my own parties. I always DJ my own parties. Really? Why? A, I think it's just I have to. It's all. It's only right because it's like. <laughs> The people come out for me, so it's, that's my appreciation to them. And only you yeah. control your own like. No, nah, not really, way. because I have a lot of good DJs that that actually do the to... damn thing. Okay. So I don't have to DJ, but I just choose to. Right. Mm -hmm. So tell us about the party. Tell us how ratchet it get. What was your favorite party moment? Okay. Oh, oh so moment. first of all, first of all, Bat is six years in. Uh huh. D. That's what's, number one. What's that? Bat is called Blackout Appreciation Party. That's the name of the party. Okay. That's the name of the party. So I made it like a little app and it was like pop, 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 pop. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so Bat, that's each year around my birthday, depending on the weekend and things like that. So this year we're doing two different events, one in the morning and one at night. The first one is the Boozy Brunch. That's in the morning. We do it since I do a brunch every month. I might as well do one for my birthday, right? Mm -hmm. So that one has honey mimosas. So you buy a picture. You get a free photo shoot oh, for really? 20 minutes. Ladies could look good, get the Instagram pictures up, everything. When is um, it? Saturday. Saturday. Oh, it's it's Saturday. Saturday. <laughs> okay. She said, I she got said, plans. she said, she said, she said, she said, she said, she said, I got plans, oh, plans. Then the night party is Blackout Appreciation Party. Okay. The sixth annual. And um, I would have to say, 
the best one was the first one because I didn't know that was my first time throwing my own event. Mm. So it's like you don't know what's gonna happen. You don't know if people gonna show up. They really fuck with yeah, you, fuck with you. Yeah. Oh, they just be like ah yeah, you know. Yeah. I don't come, but then I don't come. Like, yeah. Damn, my bad, bro. Mm-hmm. And then we packed it out that night. I was I I only promoted it myself. Tickets was only like five dollars. Like <laughs> <laughs> it was damn real. So I I think the first one and the second one. The second one I passed out at. Yeah. And I learned yeah. I learned a valuable lesson though. But you was drinking too much. I definitely because I was too stressed. <laughs> So I had a whole bottle of Henny and a whole bottle of Syrah. Face yeah. both of those. And I was out like a light. Yeah. And I lost, I I lost a lot of money at that party too because of that happened. So I vowed to myself not to do it, like get to that level of because I am running a business at the end of the day. Okay. Not only did caller. you die. Huh? I think we have a caller. So hold on real quick. What's good? Call up what's up? What's your name? Where you from? Yeah. What's up? Hello. Hello. You. They got metro. Too long, right? They got metro. You. <laughs> <laughs> you know black people don't ever like being on hold. I don't know why. That's what I don't know. <laughs> That's funny, hold let me go back on the other They're on the I got faces. I got faces. She said, oh, my boot didn't hold on. Right. I'm on FaceTime. Y'all play it with me. Yeah, you won. What's up, caller? Oh. Who's this? Oh. Where you calling from? No, 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 I didn't realize. Yeah, you here, you here. What's your name? Where you calling yeah. from? This is, uh, this is with Sean. Yo! What's coming? What's good? What's good? Hey, now, now I was calling to wish you a happy birthday. Now I'm staying back from New York days. You already know my guy. That's your family. That's a long this time. This Saturday. Mm. This Saturday is a party. I'm, I'm in town, man. Oh, it's so late. Come through, my brother. Everybody Which one? It's two of them. It's two everybody of them. You come to both of them. You know the ladies is going to be out. How Thanks. many people you coming with? There you go. How many people you coming with? I mean, how many people are coming with? I got to see, man. I always, I always come like four or five feet, so I got to see who's around this weekend. Got to make sure the place pop out. <laughs> 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 All right, thank you for calling in. Is there anything else you want to say? Nah, it's the best, man. Just wish you, wish you, Corona, happy birthday. You know what I'm saying? All the best. Many more to come. You know what I'm saying? We're going to keep doing our thing. I appreciate it, bro. Drop your Instagram, your Instagram, or whatever your social networks are, so people know where to find you. Yeah, for sure. My Instagram is LJO Photo. Speaking of which, I was supposed to do a photo shoot with the booty short, but you know what I'm saying. <laughs> we can still make it happen, bro. They coming back out. They coming back out for the winter. You gonna wear them or not? <laughs> not no, we don't need no man wearing none of my booty shorts. <laughs> Fire! <Get down. laughs> All right, stay tuned in to Lethal Podcast. Thank you for calling in. All right, y'all. <laughs> That's the broken long time. So, um, but I want to get back into this. Uh, what was it? Um, Kanye and his little rant, real quick. Um, so he called out Nick Cannon. He called out Drake and Tyson Bedford for pretty much talking about his wifey, little Kim K. Um, Being a thought that. Exactly. <laughs> How, like, what are y'all thoughts about that? Like, because at the end of the day, the old rule was you can't turn them home until I was wife. So he took the challenge. <laughs> My son stepped up to the plane. He took the challenge. He took the challenge and he turned the whole entire housewife. And I feel like now it's getting to him how many years later though. And like that's what kind of is like, bro, it's mad years later. Like you can't even let this like get to I mean, but as a man, you can't you can't have people talk about your wife like that. That's number one. I do respect that he did defend her. You have to defend her. It's only right. It was only right. But now he was like, damn. Girl, you was a dot. Like, <laughs> like the thing, like, I feel like he liked her because she was a dot, though. Exactly. He like, that was your whole thing. He liked the little challenge or whatever, or the fact that she was well talked about. He liked that. But um, Nick Cannon and, and Drake, well, they didn't say anything really negative. They spoke their truth and their experience with her, and they didn't really... <laughs> <laughs> or not, like, I'm looking. But she they didn't really laugh on... Easy. Nick Cannon said some shit like he was just talking about the fact that she had a little, a little plastic surgery. He thought she was beautiful the way she was, at least the right. clip that I saw. Yeah. Um, That's not what he said. What he said. He was I talking about no, that, that was that two different it? interviews. It was right. two different interviews. <laughs> so she is correct on that interview. He was talking about how she did look nice, right. but that's not her nose. That's obviously not her butt. You know what <laughs> he was saying that you know Nicki Minaj's butt look crazy, <laughs> but in a whole separate interview, he, he was um, insinuating that um, Drake was talking like Kiki is is Kim. 
Right, so he went on. Oh, Nick said that. Do you love me? Yeah. Are you right? Uh, because he went on, um, what's his name, like Everyday Struggle. Well, you know on that show, they, they say something like outlandish shit, mm-hmm. and then they kind of like run with it. Yeah. So they brought, okay. it, they, they brought it up to uh, Nick. It was like, yo, like, like, do you think like Drake smashed Kim? And he was like, like not for nothing. Like, I would put it past them type shit. Yeah. You feel me? I like, I'm not saying he did. Right, I went, I went, right. Like, you might have. He might have. He might have. So Kanye really felt the way about that. But that don't got to do with Nick, though. But he's, from Kanye's perspective, he was like, yo. Why you gotta do is be cordial about it, be political. Like, I, I'm not gonna talk about no other man's wife. That's it. Simple, calm as that. But niggas like, you ain't gonna tell me. You ain't gonna tell me. You ain't gonna tell me. I was like, I'm gonna let the train go by. I'm gonna let the train go by like Kanye said. Yeah, but that's the thing. But I don't know. I feel like at the end of the day, you if you know, like I respect. No. See, I told you. It was my <laughs> what you're not gonna do is they might, they might right. not spread. You interrupting us and all that. Call up. What's your name? Where you calling from? Oh, Scott. Oh, oh Denny's okay. in the building. Hi, Scott. Hi, Scott. Hi, Scott. Hi, Scott. Denny's in the building. That's definitely not your Scott Morris. You know his phone is my stuff. That's why you had to call back. Right. <laughs> Scott Morris, right. your phone about to die. What's up? What's good? What's good, my guy? His phone about to die. It's my birthday. Yeah. Okay. Good. <laughs> <laughs> love you too, bro. Still, what's up, Silver Slim? I hear y'all. Yeah. You know he's the ultimate yeah. gasser. So he be like, yo, right. Right. Yeah. he be lying like yeah. shit. He be like, son, you don't know. So give a special shout out to my bro, Blackout. You say that. That's my brother, that's my friend, you know what I'm saying? Keep in with me, do everything. That's a fact. And that's, that's somebody no, I appreciate. Nice. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, like, we came from the same mom, man. He's a very great person, very talented, you know what I'm saying? DJ, amazing person. Get rid of everything he does, and I'm very proud of him. Appreciate you. Aww. Yo, Scott be having like the, the Olga Salsina thank you. <laughs> Like, you know what I'm saying? We call it show hella love. I really respect like, that. Listen, this person is very influential. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know. You don't know this. The vets of my rookie. <laughs> <laughs> you need to get to know this. The fortune of my cookie. Yeah, we love that you show love. That's what it is. As you supposed real, to. Diddy. That's what's up. But thank you. You gonna sing or no? Nah, I don't need him singing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need him singing right now. We'll see you Saturday? Yeah, we'll see you Saturday. Yeah, yeah, definitely. All right. I'm pulling up. You ready to come in? Hey. Hey. hey, so I mean, yeah, but I, don't, I feel like if you took the, on the challenge to turn the whole entire house, like you gotta expect some type of backlash. Like that's definitely how I feel. Hold it down, like you know, what I'm saying? you can't get mad at every little thing. They've been married for dumb years now, like. <laughs> but she's still showing her ass off and that's a whole nude. fact. Like to that's day. a whole fact. <laughs> so, like, she not doing things differently. Why we gotta do right. things differently? She's still posing nude. She's still doing the same things that she was doing. Granted, she's only fucking. That no, because she no, had that. No, that was the cold up. But that nigga like, after the baby, I think it was. She took a picture well, of that nigga. Yeah. On Instagram. But that's so. That's her dog. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. Dog. What I'm saying is, we still <laughs> gotta talk about her for her to make the money that she's that's making, anyways. Yeah, but niggas talking about Drake fucking her though. That, 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 I, just, I didn't bring it up. They <laughs> talking about a past fuck though. Right. <laughs> they talking about a TBT. Like they niggas still talk about Ray J fuck her. He right. didn't call out Ray J. Listen, all I know is <laughs> they made a whole song. Yeah, you know see. If I'm, if I'm, if I'm, if I'm in a relationship, I don't need my whole receipts being brought up all the time because that's not it's irrelevant. You know, I I'm agree, but it's but you gotta like understand. Like that's part of her career, right. though. Yes, that's yes. Whole, the whole reason why she's here. The whole reason. <laughs> she didn't <did> wild <laughs> inter- She did wild internships. Her mother was plugged up. Her father right, was plugged look, up. And Hope sold drugs to, to 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 get money to get on. He's not doing that no more. He's, we don't call over. But drugs. We, somebody did anymore. bring it up. Though. But we still bring it up though. Mm-hmm. He's still bringing up in his raps. Why people too? So <laughs> they do. That's fine. Niggas are still trying to look for the fucking weight that Pusher was pushing. That's <laughs> so what you talking about? Don't do that to Pusher. 
Yeah, it's not me looking for it. I'm, I'm out of my goddamn business. <laughs> That's a fact. But um, are we gonna break real quick? Okay, so we gonna go to break real quick. We gonna come back with um, Christy Teigen pretty much revealed that she slept with John Legend on the first night. Oh, she been said that though, but oh, I'm yeah. saying so. I wanna oh, know like, is it okay to sleep on that first night or not? Cause she got a ring out of it, so maybe I'm doing something wrong. <laughs> but let me go come back. Let me go come back. Okay, should be lit. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we yeah. came to NASA. I hate us. everything about me. <laughs> we Shout out to Rico Suave. I hate everything about him. Right up, but we just Especially his demos. He ain't shit. You should be talking about something bad, like locks and stuff, you know? I'm going to just turn the mics back on. Yeah, we can I am not I said it. That's I said right, it. Love. She said she's gonna talk about a hijab, all kinds of stuff. Hijab. <laughs> Shout out to everybody with a hijab. That's a hijab. I really do. I'm inspired by you guys. You guys are beautiful. Yeah. All of them are gorgeous. Yeah, like, they really are. Though. They really I don't know. Beautiful. I just need to put a scarf on. I love Ethiopian Johns, yo. Ethiopian women are gorgeous to me. I wouldn't say all of them. Somalian. Somalian women are beautiful. They got a lot of face. They all out in a bag of chips. That's a fact. Right now, right now, now. Niggas say you just showed your age. Niggas say, you don't want to buy the chip. Oh, wow. Are we? <laughs> nah, but oh, I just put my phone on my phone. All right. Nah, so I'm like, what the hell happened? So our yeah, so what we last talking about now? wrap up real quick. We are going to talk about an ex. Or um, is it okay to have sex on the first date? And yeah. I mean that's an ongoing yeah. question. But since yeah. Christy Teigen, niggas are pull your pull your. Since Christy Teigen came out and that's revealed that she had sex on the first date with John Legend, and like the reality is she's a wife and a mother now to the same man. It's not like they broke up since. Um, is it okay? Like, what's really the problem with having sex on the first date? No There's no problem. I, I don't understand. If you right. say, this I say that, and then to the, if a woman is talking about, yeah, I had sex and such, and y'all be like, oh, that's whole shit. That uh, can't be my uh, man, so like, <laughs> <laughs> like, like, as long I, as you ain't take down my I'm man. Like, man so, you could have told me that from so before, cause you knew that was my man. I smashed the shit on the first night before. She was my girl for a minute. Okay. What's so, a like, minute? Did you, like nine months. See, I know some dudes that have said She's like they'll get though. turned off though if a girl. If they I mean, it's a, it really person. depends on your personality and how you feel, what, how you talk, like, that how was secure you. Yeah. Like, we had been talking for some time. Like, okay. Like, the first time we okay. actually like, hung out. So okay, so it's like, uh, so it was a uh, build up because you was talking shit, right. right? So like I knew like when I saw her, she was it was going. Oh, so uh, y'all was sending mad pics. <laughs> He said, well, you know, the snap was lit. Yeah. <laughs> we knew it was out of work on Netflix. We just <laughs> knew. <laughs> so I caught her with the two seconds. She was like, oh, let me replay that. Yeah. Yeah. Like, oh, if I meet you in a club. And I smash that. Now you, that's some whole shit. Right. So what if you don't even know me. Like, come on. Mm. You dirty. Mm. So you feel like it has to be <laughs> under specific circumstances. Right. I, I, feel, I, feel like, I feel like there should be some level of... Um, Communication. Right, like we should know each other on some level. Even even if I met you on Tinder type shit, we just been texting for like the past like three, four weeks. I think shit. it's on chemistry like, too. Right? It's chemistry. I, I do agree with the chemistry. You could meet somebody the first day and you feel like you know them already. Yeah. Like, uh, I'm not fucking to you. some degree. If I meet you in a club, you're like, yo, I'm trying to go home and fuck. Like, yo, sure, you could have whole herpes. So is it all the presentation then? Is it also then the, like the presentation and all that? Like yeah. how she way, carry herself? How she, how she goes it about depends because some girls be carrying themselves a one and they dirty dirty. That's that's. <laughs> true. It may dirty. Wait, you say you do it all the time in the first date? Yeah, some chicks be like, oh, I'm, uh, listen, nigga, I'm trying to fuck. Like, that's like, <laughs> all right, that's cool. Like, listen, I know. Can I? Can I? I can I? Why are people so aggressive with you? Can I? Can I? People are so aggressive with him every time he does a story. Blink twice, bro. He be going through it. I would be like, what energy am I putting out there? Like, cause it's the dimples, bro. It's the dimples. Must, I was gonna say. Nah, but like, don't come at me like that. Like, come on. Nah, it's but like, now, you, now you know how to fill them holes up. Right. And if that's what you want, that's fine. But I'm not gonna <laughs> why, why? Cause listen, because if I wasn't here, it'd have been black. Mm-hmm. It wouldn't have been me. Uh, so like it wouldn't have been me. But what if it is? <laughs> well, not now. But then what if, not it, now. Is what if it is? Not now. What if it is talking about your swag or your little dimples and she like, nah, I need that. I'm trying to lick him. Right, right, well, I'm trying to lick him for life, let's, though. Let's, right. let's, let's see where this goes, man. <laughs> <laughs> 
So what about, you, okay. what about you, Slim? What about you, Slim? What's your favorite? I've done. I definitely um had like a quote unquote one night stand once, but then it turned into a relationship. Like, oh, dude, it's so it. Like, <laughs> 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 she got the box. She got the booty. <laughs> 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 Nah, nah, he said yo. He located though. He trying to go. No, 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 no. Nah, because it was. I cook food too. I cook. I'm telling Because it was somebody that was like around, like, we was um, <laughs> at this event. We was like um supposed to be modeling for this showcase or whatever. He was like the little honey that was there. And so, like, everybody was trying to press her. And I was like, oh, honey, whatever. And then, like, the night of the show, we hooked up. And then it just kept going from That's there, though. I wasn't on it like that. I really think, y'all, I'm telling you right now. <laughs> If I'm going to an event, I'm a gift lot, so I already know that. So if you want to be like, duh, that's what I came in for. Like, if a chick wants to swipe me, I'm like, yo, like, what's like, like, what's the deal? Don't get me tired. I'm, I'm different. I don't gift lot when I go out. I just be regular. Regular, regular. Let me wear sweats. You do that, though, like. How? You a DJ, bro. Like, that got nothing to do with it. That got nothing to do with it. That got nothing to do with it. Nigga said, I like the way you turn the tape on the That's not even true. I'm not even. A lot of DJs don't even get that many girls. They feel like you the plug, not for nothing. Like, you it don't matter what. You the plug. They want to get into the events. They trying to see True Blends. They trying to see Davies or whoever. You know what I'm saying? Cardi B. They want. They want you to be their end. Just like how people be breeding for money. They be having meal ticket babies. They be trying to fuck a DJ spot entry. It's definitely, it's definitely for females. No, I, I, you don't need the tickets. See, my I thoughts. I mean, I ain't gonna lie. I definitely, I definitely. <laughs> <laughs> you definitely dabbles? I do <laughs> He put his hand in the cookie jar. I'm like, I'm like, yo, I'm trying to sell these tickets. What's up? <laughs> Are you trying to get in, huh? <laughs> oh, oh. I'm, gonna you, I'm gonna need you to buy this bottle one time. <laughs> Nigga said, push these tickets, I push my dick in your back. <laughs> I'm done. I push my dick in your back. I've definitely done that. <laughs> what? You know what I'm yeah. Promote. I got a couple of fly home girls that don't mind. I'm saying, strawberry on your back. Oh, God. Yo, I got this event on Saturday night. Listen, you the only homegirl girl come through. I'm gonna bust these tickets. I'm gonna bust these tickets. I'm gonna bust these tickets. You gotta do what you gotta do. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Sure. This is why they is say John's really sucking tea for tickets right now? This is what y'all telling me? For entry, <laughs> for parties, this for entry, for one day, day parties. Because they never know who they gonna be. <laughs> Make this quick 300 for me, you feel me? Facts. Tickets, you feel me? Yes. Yes. You don't worry, come through, I got y'all. Don't worry about it. Y'all get one drink, that's it. <laughs> like I said, one drink, <laughs> 10 straws. <laughs> no, because they already, they already got men that they doing things to. They doing like, yo, just pull up to the pot. So she sucked the dick to get in. <laughs> <laughs> she she did a hand job to the bar setting up for some drinks. <laughs> Extra pause. Use <laughs> that shit, man. Like, nah, it's not the way. It's like you not though. Have you slept with somebody like? What, Listen, just what do you just, think just, about just to confirm, I don't do any of these things anymore. Just <laughs> 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 hey, yeah, he's half saved man. I'm a saved man. After you get certain age, you gotta leave. You gotta leave those childish things behind. But just in case you got the bag, just in case you need a ticket set. <laughs> <laughs> I'm available, you know. Taking contacts. Right. How right, right, right. See, I've never like if if I dub somebody, it was definitely all the way me. Like mm -hmm. for the people who I've taken down over because of me, because you know I'll be I'll be <laughs> strong on me because I'll be. I take you. I've had. They've always led to something else, mm -hmm. not for nothing. Like I feel like. I've been the initiator too, like when it comes to. Y'all mad aggressive, like that's that. why. Well. You know, I'm aggressive. I'll say it. I'm a Leo for me. I'm aggressive. I'm, I'm a real nigga. I'm no from Brooklyn. Um, but that ass. She probably one of them niggas like, y'all, listen. You coming over today? Oh, you're taking You're coming over today. You are coming over today that's why I know, not for nothing. And that's like, it. You gotta be sacred with that box. You gotta be sacred with that box. like that. You gotta be sacred with that box because if you're not looking for no relationship and I put it on a nigga, yeah, now he, he creeping and crawling back. My question, my question is how do it's you classify dick? Because I know females do that. How do we classify? Yeah, y'all do that. Yeah. What you mean? How do y'all classify good dick, bad dick, things like that? Oh, I'm gonna tell you right now. Because some of y'all do. If we, if y'all call it's that. trash dick. Trash, trash dick, good trash. dick, whatever you want to call it. I mean. 
a big thing is chemistry for me, I'll be honest. Because even if your shit little, if you got the right chemistry, sometimes. <laughs> 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 Maybe he'll grow. You know I'm not fucking you. Nah. Kid. Maybe he'll nah. grow. You feel me? Nah. Grow aware. You can't. You can only grow by something. Yes, yeah. <laughs> you know like it like, gotta be a foundation to the right. Mother. That's okay. it. Like you, know you don't got no grip. If this <laughs> boy, if this laying on the board, on the board like a, a nigga laying on his pillow. <laughs> you feel me? My nigga. Wait, you're taking a bath. First of all, if you if you bowl, turn not. and your dick don't move, bro, I'm not fucking with you. <laughs> <laughs> Your dick gotta have reflexes. Yes. No. 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 She gonna be mad. No. 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 And I don't mean. Oh, I feel bad every time we do this. Like I don't mean to shame y'all. Y'all shaming. Y'all shaming. Yeah. Whatever dick you got is the dick you got. Yeah, dick okay. You better. That's how I said Hope, though. Nah. Chemistry so time. Whatever First dick you got is the dick you got. Dry as ever. What are y'all talking about? Oof. I'm saying it's something. Mm, if you you gotta put the motion in, <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know about I don't know who y'all is, <laughs> but Evans <laughs> out there dry, bitch. There's things you can do. <laughs> there's things you can do, do. <laughs> Maybe you don't drink enough water. <laughs> Maybe you need to be a little bit more hydrated. And bitch, if you're not in the mood, tell her nigga you're not in the mood. Say that. Maybe Cause it's dry, if you fuck a dry pussy, pussy, that's right. We put that shit. <laughs> I feel like, like you guys said, not for nothing, like, if you fuck on the first date, I mean, say something that proceeded to y'all going on this date, so I'm saying, like, you you know the person, yeah, like, you've met the person or you know the person not to a certain extent or whatever. Not free meals, bro. And they went on a date and they, they finally felt the vibe, they were like, oh, yeah, yeah. Let me you do something. I mean, but a either that or, 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 and or and she like, oh, yo, yeah. I ain't getting none in like a year. Let it me could be it. that too. <laughs> Uh, Yo, but Females do you do, 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 do all do? the time, bro? Do all do? the time. Why all do you feel away, time? though? I, I'm not I'm, believing I'm not that. Why do you feel away? I'm not oh, believing no. if a female has sex with you, you would feel used. I don't believe that. I, what do you mean? I felt used before. All these bitches be using me. That's a fact. He be That's suffering. All right. <laughs> <laughs> That's life stuff. I've been used before. <laughs> Tell your story, Light bro. Light skin bitches. <laughs> Tell your story, bro. Who just wants some chocolate dick? <laughs> <laughs> Niggas said, put your nigger cock in your cock <laughs> Bitch, hit you put up. Your... Every six months, I want some. I miss. No, you don't miss me. What's <laughs> <laughs> your <gonna> fuck? Nigga <laughs> <laughs> said, I'm putting my dick on FaceTime. No you ain't want to see me, bitch. Right? Y'all don't even say that y'all want to. I'm like, yo, you trying to cuddle? Like, Why does she want to come with you? Hey, you hit me up in six months. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, don't you like me? <laughs> 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 
You won the day. No, like, I believe it's in my heaven. But that's what I'm saying. But let me know. Use that. Say something, but just speak back, though. Don't feel like you don't miss me. You're the dick. And if that's what it is, just say that. So I can have the choice whether I want to give it to you or not. Don't you know? Don't, don't, don't. That was your choice. Don't fast. Don't take my choice. choice. Don't take your dick rights away, bro. Right. My nigga, listen, listen. All for my niggas out there, we reclaiming our choice. Feel me? <laughs> <laughs> don't let these hoes gas you in the fucking just because they want some dick. No. That looks fast. You choose whether you want to give these hoes this dick or not. <laughs> That's going to be All right, my niggas, take back your choice. <laughs> all 2019 out here, B. Reclaim the power, bro. Facts. Yeah. Reclaim the dick. How many months? <laughs> How many we months we got left for, before they reclaim their shit? How many months we got left? <laughs> <laughs> out here savage, straight savages Instagram. <laughs> out here savages, bro. Right. Yeah. But that's what they I'm saying. They got saying. all the dick energy now. Exactly, <laughs> Tiana. Exactly, Tiana. Exactly, Tiana. Y'all be yeah. like, oh, y'all using me. But then y'all be just, like, oh, I'm going to be there in 10 minutes, though. So. We just vessels for like, them to bust nuts. <laughs> <laughs> you going to love me. You going to respect me. <laughs> Niggas want to be cuddled, too. Because <laughs> not for nothing. Um, it's not work. a lot of okay. niggas that know how to give up nuts, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, not, not, not a lot of niggas know how to use their little Jolly Rancher. It. Okay. Do y'all be faking it? Oh, yeah, I faked it. I faked it. Wow. Yeah, I, I definitely it. faked it. Faked and it's yeah. crazy because I, I had this nigga, his dick was big, big. <laughs> they ain't know how to use his none of it. His dick was stupid. <laughs> Not for nothing. I don't mean to go into details, but the nigga put the tip. I'm like, oh shit, this is for old <laughs> But when I tell you he can't fuck for shit, most of them. And it's crazy okay. because you see niggas pulling and rotating bitches. Oh, he got this bitch and that bitch. Oh, he fuck. So you think like, all right, well, not that I watch it. I don't give a fuck about your hoes, but did they all have to go through this? Right. You know what I'm saying? Cause thing, you came dumb fast, fast, bro. Yeah, they don't. They don't. And then you got the nerve to tell me that you you can't get it back up. <laughs> <laughs> then you got the nerve to be Jamaican and talk about you not eating pussy. <laughs> Yeah, Mondo. Now no. you gotta square up with me. <laughs> and then you feel I want my pussy back. <laughs> I want it back. I really touched him back. I said, back. Please, <laughs> I said, please, I said yeah. please tell my vagina you're sorry because. <laughs> and she's and then you got the nerve to want to link me again. If I didn't come, it didn't count. <laughs> <laughs> you want to link me again? First of all, sometimes most of y'all don't even come. Y'all just be See, chilling. It. I, I keep it a buck. First time I ever fucking shake, I never nut. I just do it for her, honestly. She only, I never nut. Oh, how sweet. It's not even not. <laughs> about that. Oh, you mean the first round? Nah, no, like the first time we ever fuck, like if it's uh, our first time fucking, I, 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 no matter who the chick was, I never fuck. That's rude that's as fuck. Yeah, that, that's rude that. as fuck. I'm fuck you that. talking about I'm you not nut. No, I'm going in! <laughs> You're busting before you leave. You're done. What the fuck is you talking about? How how dare you? I wish a motherfucker. But that like how you but you can't even come at me for that. Like Yes. First round, okay. But by second round, you gotta like No, not even have to disrespect my whole It's because I'm I'm really aggressive. So at some point, like I be trying to let people do their things and shit like that. But at some point in time, like, I gotta just body slam your ass. <laughs> I do. Gotta and, but they know, up. but they, I, I feel like it's because I'm a pleaser, though. Like, See, so that's, if that's, you whip like, hoes and nuts, me, I'm gonna choke I'm you. Like, I'm gonna give you yours. If you can have as many as you want, but just know the first time, I never, it's, it's just like, it's it's like, a, it just don't happen. Oh, nah, that's disrespectful, like you said. No? Like, I don't, I don't need that. I don't need that type of negative energy in my life. Well, of course you want more. Of course you gonna want more, cause you ain't not. Like, you ain't going nowhere. I know next time it's gonna happen, but this time I just just want to be you. Acting like a whole lesbian. It's a courtesy fuck. Nigga said, "Get the shit." This ain't flowers, bro. This nigga acting like a whole ass lesbian. I ain't no bitch. I need that vein pulsing, motherfucker. What you talking about? This is probably why. I need to see. The, I need to see later. the pre come. <laughs> I need to see the come come. 
I need to see the after come. <laughs> you know when the shit just start throwing up. That ugly face. <laughs> like you no, already came you and shit, but just like still. Jail, prison break. <laughs> Niggas be like, don't touch me, don't touch me. Don't, I need that. I need you in a fucking ball. Tell myself, no, don't touch me. I'm not ready. Yeah. It's sensitive. Yes. That's what I need. What? I'm like, yeah, I did my damn thing. Fuck you talking about. So for a girl to pretty much master the first day, it gotta be about her approach and the energy I have between us. Yeah. Before. Yeah, it's just a fuck, let, let it be known. You feel me? Because if you just want to fuck, that's cool. Because if I just want to fuck, we gonna do that. But it's it's not gonna be nothing behind that. So I'm not gonna be expecting nothing else than what it is. So you, Don't in order for it to go further, it has to be about the vibe. Yeah, but keep it a box. Don't I agree. Don't you gotta know the person. Because at this point, I only know your box or right. your thing. Like, don't exactly. act like you yeah. just wanna fuck if you out here trying to fall in love. Because then I'm gonna do you dirty and then I'm like an asshole now. Right. So I mean, oh, now, right. now, now niggas ain't shit. No, you just wanted to fuck. So that's what we did. Like, right. hmm. then, now you got then. dick <laughs> It happens though. It happens to the best of us. Like, Check out our last know. episode. I didn't know. Niggas <laughs> oh. be having that surprise dick sometimes. I didn't mm. know. Wow. <laughs> they be hiding in them tight ass jeans. I didn't know. <laughs> Y'all have a tuck? Y'all have a tuck? Tuck what? Y'all have a tuck? <laughs> you ever pulled your dick back? What? I'm not trying to fuck myself in the ass. <laughs> Cause how y'all wear skinny jeans? Where y'all put y'all dick? For real, for real. That's a real question. Where do y'all put y'all dick in skinny jeans? First of all, you should either lean to the left or the right. Right. So. Put it in the waistband. <laughs> no, cause Nigga I said put it in the back line of the Gucci belt. I see. I see like somebody do that waist belt shit. I was like, well, nigga, you holding? <laughs> yeah. uh, so if I get pat down, so what's up, like? Nah, so, so if going I, to I'm the club, to a you club, get. One, I'm one. I, I can't. If I'm going to a club, I'm trying to party. I can't wait on tight. That's just why I'm comfortable. <laughs> I, mean, I need to be free. Let my balls. Be <laughs> Especially if a chick on me, I'm saying backing that thing up on you. I'm saying it's like my shit all tight and shit. Like, right. I can't even get off. My shit can't breathe. Like, he wanted those sweatpants in the club, ass niggas. Nah, nah. <laughs> yeah, shit can't get off. I gotta feel that setup. <laughs> you were set up. I'm just saying, like, yeah, that's, 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 that's not safe. You see me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm over here locked and loaded. Like I said, he got his dick in the chokehold or whatever. I've been strangling my shit in the club my whole life. Like, nah. Nigga said, what's a tuck? <laughs> when you pull your dick back, when you nah, pull your dick back. Like that shit. You got to let it hang. Let it hang or stay at home. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like I said, I didn't bring dick today. Nah, I left dick at home. Trendy tuck dick. <laughs> 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 I'm crying. Yo. All right, so blackout. Tell them, tell them what you got coming up yeah. once again. How do you transition from? Yeah, we. we <laughs> tell them where the party at. Alright, so we're not doing that. Y'all still want to talk about this? Cause I'm fine. That's how we transition. I'm fine. Yeah, that's how you want to transition. That's fine. Ladies, if you want to, you want to bust a nut on the first day, just come to Boozy Brunch. <laughs> <laughs> Why is people be the Henny Mimosas? Huh, we having yeah. people open, open. Right. So from 11 to 5, it's from the Boozy Brunch at I'm Marching Now. It's 189 Bridge Street. That's right downtown Brooklyn by the Manhattan Bridge. Come early. Bring your squad. Bring your girls. Bring your guys. It's going to be lit. We got 20 minutes of a free photo shoot if you buy a Henny Mimosa picture. <laughs> then you get your pictures within like two to three business days because you know. It's going to be fully clip. Um, that Later that night, we got Fap. Which is Blackout Appreciation Party, six annual tickets are twenty dollars at the door. Come to me, we got hookah, we got drinks, we gonna party. And anybody that ever seen me DJ, I'm ratchet. We like to have a good time, nothing but Caribbean vibes, and you know it's lit. It's it's lit. Ratchet. So look about it. <laughs> Just though we are all in the building, guys. Um, shout out to everybody that's been watching, staying tuned. You shout said your to info? To oh, yeah, my info. Find you. Listen, yeah. dark skin chocolate nigga, you ain't know. <laughs> so, ladies don't try to slide on my DMs because my girl is crazy. Yes. <laughs> Heard you. That's a full fact. Leo, uh, my Leo gang, is, gang, gang. <laughs> but Instagram, DJ Blackout CEO on all social medias. That's it. I'll pop up. Alright, guys. Shout out to 
Follow the culture. Shout out to at Leap the List Podcast. Make sure that you guys are following us. Um, that's on Instagram at lethal underscore lips with a Z underscore podcast. Make sure you're following me at urban underscore classic with a Q at the end. Hey, hey. Yo, Shay, Shay. <laughs> Follow Lonzo. me, King Sylvie. You're K I N G S I L V Y because I said so. Okay. And we got okay, Queen Brown. Right I never want to give his Instagram, but. <laughs> Rico Swappe. Okay. Shout out to DJ Maddox. But, you know, he has some. She always say Maddox. DJ Thematics. 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 And you got to say it with a list. She said Thematics. She said Thematics. DJ Thematics. Make sure you guys tune in each and every Tuesday night, 8 30 to 10 30. You know, we give a little ratchet. I gotta come back up here. This is all I like. Thanks. I was being professional, but next time I'm going to come ratchet, ratchet. And make sure you guys are popping out on Saturday. We were going to be there. It's going to be lit. Bye. <laughs>